Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to start to talk about some search engine optimization techniques, really basic techniques you can use as part of a larger process to help your site rank well or rank better on search engines. And the first ones I want to tackle here are titles for your pages and descriptions. And to kind of help illustrate uh, what I'm going to talk about, I've got a, a few example websites here. And first, uh, let's check out Apple for a moment just so we can see what they're doing and uh, what some other sites are doing. So over at Apple's website, and of course, super popular website, if you were to do a Google search for Apple, oh, I'm already on Google, so let me just type in uh, Apple, come to their site. These are the results here. They rank right, of course, I'm just typing in Apple. But uh, I'd like to draw your attention specifically to this text right here. Apple designs and creates iPod and iTunes, Mac, laptop, desktop computers, and so on. So this text, where is it coming from on the page? And this word Apple, where is this coming from? So the word Apple up here in purple, their main link, and of course this text here. If we go to Apple's website and look at their source code, zoom in on this a bit, here's where that's occurring. Let's see. Here's the title. So the title element in the head section, they just have the word Apple. That shows up in the results right here as the link. Okay, So that's the title tag doing that. Now here's the description, the meta description tag. Apple designs and creates iPod and iTunes. So we have the title of the page and the meta description for the page being used in the Google or search engine results as the main link and of course the descriptive text. So this is kind of an example of what you want to do. Apple is not doing a good example of showing a, a great title but they are so well known and they're so popular that they can just put in their company name. A lot of businesses will put in some keywords in there. Okay. So let me uh, jump over to an editor here just so we can uh, illustrate some points. So I've got this little mock page set up and there's a title here. Now the title I've written is exactly 70 characters long and that's something you would like to strive for when you're writing a title for your web page. So the, the search engine results will show a title up to 70 characters so there's really not a huge value of going more than that. You don't want to go crazy by putting in let's say a bunch of keywords. Now something that Apple is not doing which they felt they don't need to, but they are not using a lot of keywords in their title. So whatever the web page is about, you want to incorporate those keywords in there. So if your page is about SEO tips, get that in the title of the page. If the web page is about the title element and the description meta tag, get that in the title. So you want your title to describe to the user or at least use the, the topic in there. So it'll help in your search engine ranking to use those keywords multiple times, but it's also going to be valuable to someone who's searching for your page and they see that title. Um, for instance, the title Apple, hmm, so-so. But what if the title was Apple, maker of the iPod, iTunes, and Mac laptop? they could extend that title a little bit more and repeat some of those keywords. Probably not, obviously they're, you know, probably not gonna help them too much, but a smaller business certainly could help them. So the title and the description. Let's check out this other site here. This is a cup of yo. This is a local frozen yogurt shop here in Bend, Oregon. And really simple web page. Let's look at their source code real quick. Zoom in. Now they've done a little bit better with their title, better than Apple, okay? So they have more more words in here and they do have some keywords which are good to utilize. They certainly mention their product, frozen yogurt, so they've got that keyword in there. And they've also got their location, Bend, Bend, Oregon. And you know, obviously doing local searches is very, very common now. So if someone is searching for a yogurt shop, there's a good chance they're going to also type in the city name so that they can find, hey, where's this yogurt shop in Bend versus where's this yogurt shop in Tampa? So they've encapsulated these two good keywords and hopefully they're reusing these keywords in the body of their page, their location, Bend, Oregon, and of course their main product, frozen yogurt.
They've got a little marketing in here too, best. And they do have their business name in there, which is nice. Different SEO experts will tell you, do you want to lead with the business name or lead with your keywords? Um, a lot of them that I talk to, they say it tends to be better to lead with the keywords and then maybe put the business name at the end. But um, a lot of a lot of businesses do like to have this, you know, the business name right up at the front. So either way is good. Now something else I'm I'm not seeing here though is they don't have a meta description. So there's no meta description in the head section of the Cupio website. So if we did a Google search for Cupio, where is this text coming from? Well. If Google doesn't find a description, then what it does is it looks in the body of the page and it grabs text from there. And the text that Google is displaying is right here in the body of the page. Now, Cupio, I think, got lucky here. They didn't have a lot of text on the page, and the text that they did have was relatively nice and descriptive. But I've seen a number of business websites where they drop the ball there. They don't use a meta description, and they don't have good text. So the results are pretty poor. So at Cupio, they didn't use a meta description. They relied on their body text. And in the search engine results, that's what happened. The body text displays as part of the description. So that's something that's definitely important to make sure of. Now I do need to let you know, the meta description doesn't help SEO directly, okay? So search engine crawlers aren't going to look for keywords in your meta description. So you don't want to waste your time just filling in a bunch of keywords in the meta description. Put keywords in your title. The description is there for people and it helps what's called click through. If you have a good descriptive description then people are more likely to understand exactly what your page is about and more likely to click and visit your site. The more people that click and visit your site and are satisfied by the results, then the more popular your site becomes, the more likely people are going to link to your site, and then that helps your SEO. So I want you to use meta descriptions, not because it helps SEO directly, but because it helps click through. It lets people know what your site is about and it encourages them to click and visit. So Cupio doesn't have a meta description, but they are using body text. That's risky. They got lucky here, I think. Let's look at one more site where they're not doing that. So this is Ten Barrel Brewing Company, a local uh, microbrew here in Bend, Oregon. And uh, good looking site. They're a super, super popular joint. Let's check them out though. What happens when we search on Google? Okay, look at these results. Their title is clearly Ten Barrel Brewing Company. And if we go view their source code, let's see. There's their title, Ten Barrel Brewing Company. Not bad, you know, I mean, they've got the business name, but they're not using the full 70 character allotment. So they could have some other keywords in there. So they do have that, but look at this really lame descriptive text. Based in Bend, Oregon, nice. Background, comma, description of beers, comma, and retailers. See, this is weak. Now, what's happening at Ten Barrel Brewing is they do not have a meta description. Okay, so like Cupio, they left out the meta description. Actually, I take it back. They do have one in here, but it's piss poor. <laughs> so it's so weak that Google wasn't even really relying on it. Um, so that it's not even being incorporated. So what happens is Google is using the body text in order to display the results. But over at 10 Barrel, let's zoom out real quick, they really don't have any good body text. Okay, nothing really good on there. In fact, I'm not even sure I'm seeing the text that Google is pulling out from here. So maybe it's hidden under this more info or something like that. Uh, so this is where they really kind of drop the ball. They didn't use a good meta description. They don't have good body text. So it's kind of weak here. Now, obviously their name is brew is a brewing is in the company, so you've got a pretty good idea of what they offer, but you don't know that they have a brew pub associated with them. They don't have the names of some of their most popular beers right there in the description. Um, they do at least have the city name, and that's pretty good, but still, they're really, they could have a lot more in here. 
So those are just a couple of things that I'd like to tell you about. The title, 70 characters. Your description, it's usually about 140 to 170 characters. If you want to make it easy to remember, 70 characters for the title, 170 characters for the meta description. And the description should be easily read by a person, okay? So it's easy to read by a person, it'll encourage them to click. So nice descriptive and brief passage that describes this page. Each web page in your website should have a unique title. Each web page in your website should have a nice and descriptive description. Okay, so those are your first SEO tips and every web page you make from this point forward should have those things. Talk to you later.